Hi guys, Anthony from The Hot End. In this episode we're going to check out a laser engraver from GearBest.com. So the folks over at GearBest were nice enough to give me an allocated budget to pick anything off their site to review for you guys. And um, rather than do it just another 3D printer, I chose this. This is the A3 Pro laser engraver. I got this one specifically due to its large uh, engraving size. So you got 300 by 380 mil of laser engraving space. And the price, $341 free shipping to Australia. The machine itself is pretty basic on how it works. You've just got your X and your Y axis controlled by your three steppers. So you've got a stepper on both sides and one on the Y axis here. The laser is 2.5 watts on this model, but you can get the 5.5 watt model, but um, that one jumps up substantially in price to 585, whereas the one I have here is the 2.5 watt model, which is 341. But that all depends on what you're engraving. It arrived nicely, uh, it was packaged very well, everything was sorted for you, all the nuts and bolts and screws were all there, all laid out for you, nice, so it would be a quick nice assembly. The only thing missing was instructions, there were no instructions whatsoever on the website, none on the, nothing arrived in the package with instructions, they, they just were non-existent. So I was able to install and build the machine in about two hours just based on the pictures on the website here. Basically, there's not much to do. You can see here, if I zoom in. So based on these pictures, I was able to build the machine in two hours whilst doing other things, just uh, taking my time. There really isn't that much to it. It's pretty simple on how it works. They should include instructions, but um, I'd say if you're intermediate, you got half an idea of what you're doing, then this shouldn't be an issue for you. It runs the Arduino Nano, and mine happened to come faulty. The issue I had with mine was that the pin 11, which controls the laser on and off pulse, wasn't working on the Arduino itself, and that would mean that the laser was constantly on. So what that meant was every time it did a crossing between one side of the picture to the other, it would leave uh, streaks and lines all over the image, which is just rubbish. You want a nice crisp output where the laser will stop when it's doing uh, bridging, I suppose is the term, between one point of the image to the next. Gearbest was obviously going to send me a replacement if need be, but it was quicker for me just to buy one locally for like 10 bucks and then uh, I was up and running again and the machine has been running like a champ. You can see with the time lapses what it can do. The detail is there. It's actually quite a good machine. For 341 bucks, if you want to get into the whole engraving scene or just uh, interested in it and want to have a tinker, I'd say this is your best bet. I mean, the average rating is a 4.7 star. Like I said, there's no instructions. Um, you're basically getting a bill of materials and that's about it. But if you have some smarts, then you're going to be able to put it together and get a good machine out of it at the end. The software is called LX Maker, and this is it here. Basically, what you've got on the screen now is what I'm engraving now, and the time lapse will be coming up. The green is its laser path where it's already been. The black is where it still has to go. You can control your axes all manually, just to, in testing to make sure it's all good. Um, manually disable your steppers and then just move the uh, laser to the central point of your bed and then you can tell it that that's your home position and then it will always home back to there. Up here you've got a cool preview option and once you click that the laser will move around on the actual uh, unit itself to show you where the, the total maximum size of the engraving is going to be. Now this is one big benefit that the DaVinci didn't have. It, um, it does like a mock 
uh, square around where it's going to be lasering so you know exactly where to place your object. Uh, that leads me to the next thing. The laser itself is basically on, out, on or off so you don't get grayscale like you do on the DaVinci Pro laser engraver. That's not such a big deal if you're doing um, engravings like you can see that I'm doing. It's just on off but I'm sure there are third party software that will let you do that by adjusting the acceleration over certain points to decrease the laser's ability to penetrate. <laughs> penetrate. Under gallery it comes pre-configured pre with a heap of images you can choose from. Um, I'm doing this one here. I don't want to really mess with it too much because it is live sending um, laser commands to the machine or g-code to the machine. But uh, yeah you can use any of the predefined images just to get you started to have a play or you can import your own by going to pixcarve. And then uh, this is the Alice in Wonderland picture, which I don't think I can show you, but uh, yeah, you can see the time lapse for that. So yeah, you can import your own images. It's got text carve, which is a simple enter your text, pick your font, and then tell it to write whatever you want on whatever you want, which is handy. And of course, you can load G-code from external software. Configuration itself was pretty easy. All you needed to do was to go into this screen here, select the machine type which was the A3, upload your ROM file to the Arduino Nano and then uh, it, it just works. Overall the process to me was very easy. I got the machine up and running like I said in about two hours without instructions. I'm pretty sure if you need help on the forums and everything there's going to be plenty of people running similar kinds of machines so you can ask questions there. I'll put links to the forums in the description below. But uh, my experience of the machine itself has been excellent. The engraving size, the area that you can engrave is very impressive which is the reason I picked this one specifically to do larger things like chopping boards. So if you want to dabble into the world of engraving, I highly recommend you give GearBest a go. Um, I'll put a link to this exact product in the description with my affiliate codes and links. For $341, I personally don't think that's that expensive. Um, you're basically getting just a bill of materials and I'm sure most of it probably comes close to that. You've got shipping and everything that's included, so I think it's a bargain. I think. Um, if you want to, yeah, like I said, get into this kind of thing, this is a good one to try with, to play with. You can also get the cheaper ones, which are 500 milliwatt, and that will be about $100 cheaper, so 247 Australian, which would be 70% of that for US, off the top of my head, no idea. Um, and you can also go higher power. So your 5.5 watts and the power, the, the price increases exponentially with your different laser outputs. The 2.5 to me seems pretty good. I can't complain. And the price difference between that and the 1600 milliwatt isn't that much to really warrant the 1600. The 2.5 works excellent. You still have uh, some control of the laser, the the power by adjusting the slider in the software. So if I go back to here, you can control the laser output. So if yeah, if you want to get into this kind of thing, I highly recommend you give this one a go. Affiliate links will be down below. I want to thank GearBest for sending this over to review. It has been a fun experience. Um, most of the other laser engravers I've played with have been quite small, and it's nice to have a have a large one to do larger things. Anyway, I hope you like this review. I do recommend you give this one a go, but keep in mind that you are basically buying a bill of materials only. Again, overall, very happy with it. Highly recommend you give this one a crack if you want to play with lasers. And uh, oh, that, that brings me to the next point. Be safe. Wear the included laser protection when you're looking at the thing or when you're around the thing because these lasers being ultraviolet 
will blind you and they're not toys to be to be messed with well you can mess with them but just be safe if you like this video please subscribe hit that notifications button hit the dingaling i want you to play with my dingaling this act is over and i'll see you on the next video thanks guys